Welcome back to part three of In Theory, and this movie is so freaking amazing, and I am joined by the amazingly, the outstanding Sintel. What's up, Sintel? Oh my goodness, I love that. Let me give that applause. Woohoo! Let's go, baby. If you are watching on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up so you can let YouTube know that you are watching, and please, if you want to watch the whole thing, join us on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash Let's get back into this. No. Dang, he is really about that life. Literally turned into the Terminator. Whoa. Ow. I've never seen that before. <laughs> What? Oh! He's not here to play with y'all, man. Oh my god. Bora literally unleashed the Terminator. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, what do you do? How did they get there? Oh, okay. Don't matter. Yo. I don't get why they're shooting at the car with Sana in there. Chippy's like, listen. If I gotta use this. I've seen this clip before. I've seen this before. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't realize that was this movie. Ah. Uh, give me all of that. Whoa. Yeah, just just give up. <laughs> Happy Diwali folks. Oh no. Whoa. <laughs> It's like, yeah, we keeping these. All right, Bora is responsible for so many deaths. Oh my God. Hey, Jitty is busy. Jitty said, I'm gonna need this gas, these guns, this jewelry. We about to have a party. Whoa. Oh, it's one of the other robots. That's how he's be able to be all these different places at the same time. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's the other robots. Yeah, because he's got the neuro system now. Uh. Yo. Bora. Ultron. <laughs> yup. Oh, that I didn't see coming. Thought you could have it all, didn't you, buddy? They are my servants, soldiers, and terminators. Terminator and terminators. I said, get on with it. Hurry up! Come on! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. If Bora was smart, he would have put some fail safe like you cannot touch me, kind of like Robocop with Director 4. Oh, he's going to disguise himself as one of his soldiers. Man, I could use a few of these at home. That's what I'm saying. Let me just borrow one just for a couple not the, hours. Not the killer versions. Just the, <laughs> the home cooking nice ones. I know you're mad, but you can't turn down lobster. There's angry and there's silly. <laughs> Don't be silly. Eat the lobster. Sarah, I'm going to eat Uh, how do you prove? 
Ugh. That's a good way to prove it. Painful good way. What? Oh, yeah. Smart. Mm. Smart plan. Is she giggling to herself? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not, I see that, yeah. No! Oh! Oh! I did not expect that! Like Night of the Living Dead. Batteries! Batteries! Maybe just get an EMP, right? Ah, good point. We have a torture. Somebody could look at number of body and Amukul or Karapa to Roger. Doctor Vasigar Nia on the Tena on the Walika. I'd be so terrified right now if I was him. Soldiers, put it in your heads. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> huh. Chitty sphere. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, no, don't throw the helicopter. Oh, my God, my goodness. You better hurry up. <laughs> uh. huh. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, it's a whole person. <laughs> Is he skipping? <laughs> Ooh. Got him. Okay. <laughs> Brains over bronze. Boom. 
Nice. <laughs> Thousands of murders. Felt like more. Doctor Vasigar, this all that you are doing is wrong. Bora. What? Death penalty. Not the fact that you are killing Vasigar is not. Bora. Your Honor, Professor Bora is not here. This is the case of this side. Where are you going? This is so like RoboCop. I love it. Yeah. Destruction program. In the other angle, You survived. Thumbs up, like T2. It the hey advanced robo, Yedrikalatil went to Manal, Pinul Daga Irikalam. In the court, in the robo way, Nerandra Market, Tadese Hirati. Forever. I don't blame them for making that decision. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you should dismantle that thing immediately. Yeah. Dismantle yourself, Chitty. Sure, Doctor. Shiva, Ravi, Unga kitty irkra one day kitty ilen sonigla. Adu wonder nali yolo prachne patina. I'm surprised they're not going to jail as accomplices of Bora. Ungulkina drogan and chitta. Vidigal a mirror the tapu in a manichita. Vidigal a mirror the katakata then in Manishaka kitta. Tapu umpele matu illechiti. I am feeling good, doctor. AI exhibit. Yep. Chitigra, the most advanced and of humanoid robot. Doctor Basigan, it over the planet. Apro Silakar and Lakaha, it a dismantled Panitanga. No mention about the murder. Huh. Just gonna close it out just like that, huh? Okay. Anything else? Let's see, there could be a little, you know, post credit. Yeah. Maybe uh, see Sana and the Doc's kid. I don't oh, know. Oh, Stan Winston Studios. Wow. You have to give me a point of reference for that one. Stan Winston. He did all the Terminator films. He did the Terminator makeup for Arnold. There uh, we go. He did uh, Jurassic Park. He did Aliens. I mean, Edward Scissorhands did the makeup. The T-1000, hmm. T-2. I mean, okay. I mean, did, he's legend. I actually met him once, actually, 2003, right after Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, and I told him how amazing he is. He was also shocked that I knew who he was. I'm like, dude, I've seen so much behind the scenes of Terminator 2. Of course. Of course I know who you are. We had a nice 15, 20 minutes uh, conversation. He was a very nice guy. God rest his soul. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow I was good catch. I was not expecting to see his name there. That is so cool. Wow. Makes sense, though. I mean, we saw that one scene that was really parroting uh, Terminator where, he, you know, the eye came out after he, the encounter with the cops, like just like in, t in the first Terminator film where yeah. he goes to that hotel to repair his arm and then he takes out the, the, the appliance to take out his eye and then the red glowing eye. So I guess it makes sense that they would ask Stan Winston Studios for a little bit of help with this so it makes makes sense that definitely makes sense it definitely uh it helps me understand the tone a lot more too yeah um, you know I, the, the aesthetics of how of how it all felt and looked wow what a yeah. ride Sintel, take us away what'd you think uh, uh aside from what we just talked about <laughs> i don't really know where to place it because <laughs> uh, in, in one sense you know I, we're kind of like going like you know the, the short circuit kind of route johnny five alive yeah. and yeah and another another one is like can machines feel and what does that mean and then there's like a bit of oh my gosh i forgot uh will smith made a movie about it that, oh that yeah kind of i robot um i robot right yes. you know like especially like some of the movements um felt very i robotish regarding like when the, yeah. when the building caught on fire and you Good saw catch. like some of the movements and stuff uh, so it kind of felt like a little bit of that and then it offered a lot it took a lot of the things that's worked that has been previously done and slapped a different coat of paint on them and then rearranged the puzzle pieces you know and, yeah. and, and it created and became like its own thing so overall i was i was absolutely entertained oh for i will sure. say that i was i was entertained yeah, yeah. How'd you feel? no i mean you made a great point it, it definitely blended in a lot of you know i i definitely felt that robot terminator robocop terminator 2 and we got a lot of blends of all these things but i mean i love the action in it there was a lot of tension 
mentioned, we really did a good job of balancing tones. I'm sorry, the main actor in this film, I, I don't recall his name right now, but he was phenomenal. The way he was able to, to display the performance of, you know, playing Vaji, and then he was able to play Chitty, and then playing all the... So, I mean, that is not an easy performance. I mean, playing... I mean, you can say, hey, playing a robot, and so it, it's really not. I mean, because it's just a multifaceted performance that I was just intrigued. I just couldn't take my eyes off the screen, and I, I just love, too, that he was really able to capture that, because I, I really felt like he was totally different characters really reminded me a little bit in terms of like what James McAvoy was able to do in Split where he's just able to do all these different persona not not persona wise what he was able to do here but just right. multifaceted characters type of thing and I just was really impressed with his performance and I got to say that actress who plays Santa she is <laughs> Drop dead gorgeous. She has the yes. most magnificent eyes I've ever seen. And I, I really love the chemistry that her and Vaji had too. They they were really electric on screen together. I just, I really felt myself really emotionally impacted by their relationship and I didn't want anything to happen to them. So I was really emotionally invested in these characters and just, I really gave a damn. And again, the action sequences that they came up with, they were so creative, so much fun to watch. Like uh, we watched the trailer and we're like, go all out. I mean, but then in this movie, when you watch it, like it actually makes sense in terms of what the plot was going for and I haven't seen stuff like this because those are the type of films that interest me the most are like all right I've seen this before I've seen action and it's not easy to right. do like I mean but the action style that they were going for in this was so fun it was entertaining and then there were other times where I'm like oh my god he, he just murdered like 200 cops right there. I was <laughs> the tonal changes here, but it was balanced out properly to the point where you're like, okay, like this is fun, but like, oh my God, this just got real. Like I really enjoyed this film. It was also well paced for a three hour film. You know, I didn't find myself like, you know, like why is it, this film is dragging or it's, you know, it's going too quick. Like, no, I thought it was really evenly paced for the most part. Yeah. Uh, and you know, it, it kind of like, you know, get into the numbers of baseball and kind of say, you know, I, I really liked like some, I like a lot of the locations is one of the things that really like stuck, stuck out. Oh me. yeah, um, the locations, uh, especially uh, during during the dance numbers or, or the yes. musical scenes. Yes, they had a lot of variety. Like you know, we started off with 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 sand and water with yep. these cool these cool uh, uh, color schemes. That there was, it was it was a binary color scheme, but it worked really well with with the with the the orange of the sand and the blue of the water. And then they just shook it all up, right? And then they they gave you like these beautiful mountain tops. Yeah. and then they they did cool things with. with with uh, the blending of of culture and tone to go along as well, I, I am assuming that there was a, a culture that was represented in the in the mountain areas. I obviously am, am ignorant to, to about truth that is, but it was still cool to see. You know, um, they they did cool things with visual aesthetics, even including with the costume with the dancers, with them turning their backs and then making whatever that fuzzy fur kind of shake and do some really cool things uh, visually, like just like with a lot of the cool shots that they did with the drones over the sand dunes. They found each way to make the, the the musical numbers visually appealing as well as going along with the song. They had every song had a totally different feel. Oh, yeah. And just to add to the brilliance of the uh, of the performance that Sana gave, the actress that played Sana, her dance numbers were completely different in each one as well. Yeah. I was I was joking earlier and I was like, she shows up to the audition and they're like, well, what dance style do you have? And she was I like, all of them. Yeah. You know, she yeah. just walks in and just, and just like makes it work. I liked that. I liked what they did with the camera stuff. I liked the fun that they had with the with the stunts. You know, I, I'm a huge fan of like good stunt work. I, I love to see, you know, people go all in regarding like the jumps and the dives yeah. and all the and all the cool moves that you have. Like the martial arts that was involved was really well. Oh yeah. Like they 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 took their time to make all the smaller pieces very convincing. Don't get me wrong, there are there is no perfect movie and there are things you can see like some of the seams and some of the things, some of the damage with the car was didn't necessarily match, you know, frame for frame, but it wasn't distracting enough to like pull you out and be like, "Oh, I'm totally done." No. Because like you said, you know, you're you're, you're here for this ride and it is a ride, you know, especially that last third of the movie. It's just go, go, go. Yeah. They're like, we still got some budget left. Yeah, we no, can the, do some more stuff. Yeah, no, the, <laughs> the, 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 the chitty snake, the chitty drilled, the chitty, the chitty spear. I mean, these are so inventive, so creative. They were so like, <laughs> I was so, I'm like, I never would have thought of these things, like using robots to, to create these elaborate, uh, you know, designs. So it was really cool. And then the hand-to-hand -hand combat, as you mentioned, like was done so well. And when he's jumping through cars, 
officers like killing off these police officers or in the uh, when they were on the train and he was saving Santa like that was such a cool sequences from yeah. the action sequence the hand to hand combat but I really also appreciated the special effects that were done in this film when they're like taking him apart or yeah. just like he's burned and then he's got to repair I mean just little special effects like that like as we've mentioned many times throughout you know the, the parts of uh, our reaction we're big fans of Terminator and Robocop and like the effects we got in, like with Robotine and Robocop and with Stan Winston in Terminator like the special effects on those films are fantastic and I'm really glad as we mentioned at the beginning of this review that they were able to get Stan Winston Studios to help out and you could tell like it was just a beautiful match of you know them working blending of working together just combining their their special effects skills and I just I loved every minute of it I was like this is so well done I'm like yeah. this is awesome but also more so than that uh, just from the the human perspective of this film I really like how they you know we talked about in the trailer I like that they humanized Chitty and just like I mean I, I found myself extremely sad like at the end very reminiscent to how I felt in Terminator 2 like again if you haven't seen spoiler alert for a film in 1991 but very reminiscent to the ending of that film where you feel that that sadness for a robotic character and especially one in this one that just murdered hundreds and hundreds of cops and all that but obviously you knew he was being programmed but you know I also thought it, this film had an interesting message about just like over programming you know technology that you know how far it can go you know giving them human emotion so there was an interesting message about that as well and like how far can you take it and what can happen with the repercussions and consequences of that I thought there was a lot of interesting messaging going on on top of all the cool stuff we got aside from that in the film and the great characters bravo to what you just said with that yeah I love that I also like like so some of the moments that it took to kind of like take the weight of the seriousness off they had some interesting ways of doing it uh the one that stands out the most to me was uh the mosquito scene yeah it was just yeah Yes, it was yes. really, it was, it was really odd, but it did a good job of breaking the tension up. Yeah. You know, it's like okay, so now he talks to mosquitoes, and they have this whole thing that's going like back and forth. Uh, they did another one that was really good with breaking the tension with the guy at the beach when she walks over to him, was like, "You're gonna yeah, be my boyfriend, boyfriend for, the, for day the day or whatever." Yeah. You know, it seems like it, 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 it's a little jarring because it's, um, it's, it's not exactly going with the the flow of what previously happened, but it does do a good job of like cleansing the palette, like our visual palette yeah. so that we can move on to what the next jump or what the next step is going to be. I, I do appreciate finding unique ways to break things up. I don't know if that's making sense. It's making yeah, sense in no, my it makes head. Sense. It makes sense but, to me. And also too, last thing I want to just say too, I thought this film also had an interesting message about like even if you do a good thing it can still have consequences like even when he was remember when he saved them in the fire and then but he didn't understand about like clothing and you know how the culture works and like she'd felt shamed and then she ran and like that's when the movie too felt real I'm like I, I was not expecting a little girl to get, just get slammed by a truck like that and die so how there's real consequences for even good actions like and like that's a real world trait and I just I really felt that to my core so you know there was a lot of interesting messages going on in this film besides you know the bombastic incredible action the incredible character arcs all the amazing visuals so I thought there was a lot of interesting stuff going on in this film and it was just very entertaining well paced three hour film hey man I co-sign with that bro <laughs> awesome well uh, let us know in the comments what did you guys think of this film uh, please let us know as well what other movies you'd love for us to watch because we love pumping out these reactions for you and if you are watching on YouTube please hit that subscribe button bell icon all notifications and vote this up so you can let YouTube know that you are enjoying what you're watching and please consider joining us on our Patreon page patreon.com slash I'm Andrew Flash Gordon hey it's your boy Sintel peace <laughs>